Okay, now we're going to talk about how you clean an ELSD by steam cleaning it. Steam cleaning is pretty simple. You can do it overnight before you leave from work. You can start the process, come in the next day, and it'll be nice and clean. You should do this once a month, once a year at least, or more frequently, depending on how much sample you run through your detector and the nature of the sample you're running. If you're running gooey, sticky, gummy stuff, you want to do this more frequently. Just like your car. If it gets dirty all the time, you got to clean it more often. So what you do is you turn the detector to maximum temperature. We crank it up to 100 degrees Celsius. And this will run the oven to its maximum temperature. And you don't really need to be at gain 12. You can crank the, the gain down to maybe 4 because you don't need to saturate the PMT in there with junk. Because a photomultiplier tube is kind of like your human eye. You don't want to expose it to too much light. It'll decay its ability to see light. So anyway, 100 degrees Celsius, it's going to heat up. This will take a while. Then you hook up your solvent line, which is already hooked up. You come over to your HPLC, turn your pump on. One ml a minute of water. Here's my water here. It's running out of this one liter bottle. And I'm pumping water through my pump, through the, through the system, into the detector. And this one ml a minute of water will be the source of my steam. So as the water goes through the detector, and this heats up to 100 degrees C, you're just going to let this run overnight and steam clean itself. There's no fast way to do this. It takes time. It's kind of like cleaning the oven at your house, the self-cleaning oven. It takes like four or five hours. You turn it on, it heats up, it cools off, and you go in and wipe all the carbon out. It takes time. There's no fast way to do this. But this is a very easy cleaning procedure you should do with your detector to reduce noise and drift and interference on your baseline from residual contaminants inside the detector.